Good afternoon everyone, here is our latest video update. Yes, we do have a video update this new year. A new tropical cyclone just three days into the 2013. And it is tropical depression houring which just made landfall in Mindanao in southern Philippines late last night. And then this is now moving across the uh, waters of Sulusi between uh, the islands of Palawan and Mindanao. Was last located approximately 210 kilometers southeast of uh, Puerto Princesa City, or about uh, 290 kilometers northwest of Zamboanga City. Maximum sustained winds are at 55 kilometers per hour, with gusts of up to 85 kilometers per hour, according to JMA. It is moving quickly uh, westward. See that forward speed, 35 kilometers per hour. So, uh, zoomed across this region uh, in less than a day, it can make landfall. Uh, in the Surigao del Sur uh, late last night or early uh, actually morning and then crossed across northern Mindanao exiting into the Sulu Sea earlier this morning and again crossing that Sulu Sea making its way towards uh, southern half of Palawan could make landfall there later this evening it is a very weak and somewhat disorganized tropical depression no hint of any sort of developing uh, central con uh, core or uh, banding uh, whatsoever on the latest satellite image. Nevertheless, the system continues to bring uh, widespread rains uh, across this uh, across this region, central and southern Philippines. Dropped up to 100 uh, millimeters in some parts out here in northern Mindanao uh, in the past 24 hours. It is now pushing westward and looking at the latest infrared image again. You can see much of the convection associated with the system is now uh, moving away from central Visayas, away from Mindanao. So. Uh, clearing weather conditions out here temporarily um, across northern and central Mindanao and also out here in the islands of Visayas. More rains will uh, push into Palawan over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. You can, again, you can see the infrared image. Uh, not really a whole lot going on here. We do have some cold cloud tops, but they are not really that organized. And so JMA is still keeping it as a tropical depression as of this time. They do expect it to become a tropical storm within the next 24 hours, especially once it moves into the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea by tomorrow morning. Now in terms of impacts, aside from the heavy rainfall, we haven't really received any sort of widespread damages or flooding out in the affected areas. We do, uh, we have received reports of uh, some families being evacuated across Davao del uh, Norte and Davao Oriental, but other than that, nothing really major. Although there, uh, there was a report of a ferry that has uh, run aground in the city of Dumaguete, uh, ferry traveling from Sambuanga City out here in uh, western Mindanao, uh, pushed northward uh, towards Dumaguete and uh, actually run aground uh, approximately 200 meters from the port, battered by the uh, strong waves associated with the system. No gale warning, as far as we know. Uh, from Pagasa, unfortunately. So, uh, but as of right now, most of the sea travel out here across uh, western and uh, parts of the Philippines have been suspended due to the uh, upgrading of the system into a full blown tropical depression by the weather agency. We will continue to gather reports out in this region. Uh, and if you have your own reports or images or videos, then you can share them to us on our uh, email and also at our YouTube page uh, below. And in terms of the rainfall, Currently, across central uh, Philippines, looking at the latest radar image from Cebu, you can still see some uh, thunderstorms and uh, isolated uh, rain showers moving across the islands of Samar, Leyte. Also, per, uh, potentially going to be impacting northern Cebu over the next few hours as well. Hinatuan radar uh, depicting also bands of rains uh, just offshore of Mindanao, just east of the island also impacting currently the uh, provinces of Surigao and Agusan, perhaps some light rains across Davao Oriental and Compostela Valley as well. Now these rain showers to the east will continue to push westward, potentially could impact these same provinces uh, that have been affected last night. So uh, up to 50 millimeters could still be felt across this entire region. Now, as you push to the north, this is the radar from Virac, Catanduanes, and it is also picking up some uh, light to moderate rain showers impacting eastern Visayas and the Bicol region. You can see here some isolated uh, some pockets of moderate rains uh, affecting Sorsogon provinces. 
also some light or moderate rain showers impacting uh, Samar uh, Island here not as heavy as uh, the areas to the south but still uh, potential for minor flooding and just uh, occasional uh, on and off rains uh, throughout the night here actually farther to the north uh, looking at the uh, radars across Luzon here from Tagaytay you can see a band of light moderate rain showers also moving in across the province of Quezon into southern Luzon areas particularly in the provinces of Laguna Batangas, Marinduque, and perhaps across the uh, areas here in Oriental Mindoro. Again, very light rains and nothing too widespread and nothing too heavy and too major. Um, now going back to our ring, looking at the latest forecast track, beginning with Pagas, again expecting the system to continue pushing westward quickly, making landfall here in southern Palawan later this evening. Could perhaps exit the Philippine air responsibility as early as tomorrow afternoon into the uh, South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. JMA also forecasting a nearly similar track, only showing 24-hour forecast because it is, it is only a tropical depression as of this time, but the agency is expecting it to become a tropical storm by tomorrow and as it pushes into the South China Sea. Uh, we do think it will intensify uh, for the next two days here. Wind shear is light to moderate and sea surface temperatures are warm enough to sustain development. We will continue to watch the system over the next few days as it could actually pose a threat towards uh, southern Vietnam including the city of Ho Chi Minh by the early part of next week. And before we end our video update just want to show you the infrared animation here from NOAA. You can see here the circulation associated with tropical depression our ring pushing westward into the island of Palawan but look to the east of the Philippines across the tropics here this band of vigorous moisture extending from uh, eastern Philippines across Palau and into the equator and that is associated with the intertropical convergence zone very moisture laden uh, system here continues to push westward bringing scattered showers across Palau Yap and the rest of Micronesia could impact as well uh, parts of eastern uh, and Philippines particularly out here in Visayas and Mindanao over the next two to three days not as heavy though and most of the showers here are scattered and they're pretty disorganized although some computer models are hinting of yet another tropical cyclone possibly forming along this ITZZ band over the next uh, three to five days still pretty low possibility as of this time only a couple of computer models are actually showing that scenario but nevertheless expect more rains unfortunately uh, pushing westward into central and southern Philippines over the next few days here in actually Looking at the 48 hour uh, precipitation accumulation forecast from one computer model you can see the heavy rains associated with that ITCZ extending all the way into the equator uh, pushing into parts of say northern Mindanao perhaps uh, across the islands of Samar, Leyte possibly extending northward into the Bicol region as well also this moisture associated with tropical depression our ring pushing westward impacting southern Palawan later tonight and also perhaps uh, possibly in the northern parts of the island of Borneo. You can see some isolated and scattered rain showers over the next two days here as well. That concludes our video update for today. Continue to check out Pagas over the latest warnings, gale warnings, any other warnings associated with this tropical depression. Speaking of warnings actually, the latest report from Pagas, uh, they have put Palawan under signal number one the only province under signal, war signal warning as of this time they have dropped uh, the rest uh, warnings from the other uh, provinces this morning you can also check out climate climate xph for the latest radar images we've used in this update and also other rainfall data and uh, rainfall forecast for your particular area stay safe guys